हेलो नमस्कार टुडे वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम एंड अदर हार्मोन्स एक्सेप्ट पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड आई एम डॉक्टर सुमन कुमारी टीचर लेटर फ्लास स्कूल महाराजगंज यस लेट स्टार्ट पीनियल ग्लैंड Pineal gland is a pine cone shaped and only about 1 cm in diameter. That secretes melatonin hormone. Melatonin hormone Melatonin hormone communicate information about environmental lightning to various part of the body. Basically it regulate the biological rhythm of our body. Biological rhythm include sleep awake cycle and other biological events connected to them such as lower production of gastric secretion at night gastric secretion include hcl acid that digest the food here is showing pineal gland that figure round shape yes in red circle in the part of the brain now other hormone is serotonin that is also a neurotransmitter that regulate intestinal movements and affect appetite mood sleep anger and metabolism now next gland is thyroid gland thyroid gland present in trachea region have two lobes that are connected by the isthmus here are two lobes one two that are connected by that isthmus thyroid gland secrete two hormones thyroxin and calcitonin the iodine containing hormone thyroxin exert marked effect on the regulation of basal metabolic rate that we called bmr basal metabolic rate it is the rate of cellular oxidation resulting in heat production when the body is at rest it controls cell respiration and energy production and helps to maintain the body temperature yes the thyroid gland plays a vital role vital role in metabolism and regulate the body's metabolic process another hormone is calcitonin calcitonin influence bonds and calcium metabolism that maintain the homeostasis of calcium in the blood plasma here when calcium get increased in blood increase the secretion of calcitonin <clears throat> but when uh, blood calcium is decreased it increase secretion of parathyroid hormone so thyroid gland regulate physical mental and sexual growth of body it is called calorogenic effect thyroxine control body weight it increased production lead to weight loss and decrease amount of obesity thyroxine also regulate general growth development of the body and ossification of bones ossification is transformation of cartilage to bones now secretion of the thyroid gland two hormones are there thyroxine t4 triiodothyronine t3 yes hyposecretion and hypersecretion hyposecretion means thyroid secretion is less amount deficiency and hyper means thyroid secreted in maximum amount hyposecretion leads with cretinism myxedema hashimoto disease 
and hyper secretion of T3 and T4 release related with grave disease, goiter, bestow disease. Creatinism is hyposecretion of thyroxine in children, but myxoedema is the hyposecretion in adult. In creatinism, children suffering from atrophy or defective development of thyroid gland. Creatinism is characterized by dwarfism, retarded growth and retarded mental development. Now, Hashimoto disease also cause overweight of the body uh, and uh, hypersecretion, grave disease and uh, goiter based disease are here. Goiter are simple goiter or iodine deficiency in which hypertrophy or enlargement of thyroid gland uh, is occur. So, as to absorb more iodine. But the hormone production is released, uh, reduced, iodine deficiency can be readily corrected by the addition of iodine in diet usually as using iodized salt. Now grave disease, hypersecretion of thyroxine released related with grave disease that also called exothalamic goiter. It is characterized by an increased rate of heartbeat, increased metabolism, increased appetite, loss of weight, increased nervous irritability, shortness of breath and main is protrusion of eyeballs. Now secretion of parathyroid gland. Below the parathyroid gland, two parathyroid, two pairs of parathyroid glands are present. Located on the dorsal or back side of the thyroid gland, they secrete parathyroid hormone which plays a role in the metabolism of phosphorus. Too little result in cramping, too much result in osteoporosis pores in bones or kidney stone that is related with the parathyroid gland. Now the eyelids of Langerhans basically in pancreas, pancreas associated with liver and it has both exocrine as well as endocrine glands. For uh, exocrine, they have akini, and for endocrine, there is islets of Langerhans and are present in the connective tissue of the pancreas. Three types of cells are differentiated in the islets of Langerhans. Here is pancreas that is stomach and that is pancreas endocrine gland is that actually uh, heterocrine gland or mixocrine gland is pancreas because it show both exocrine as well endocrine gland actions. Uh, now three types of cell first is alpha cells. Alpha cells, these cells secrete hormone glucagon. Glucagon convert glycogen to glucose. That glycogen to glucose. Whenever glucose level of blood decrease, low glucose level in the blood, exercise and protein rich diet stimulate its formation. Basically, alpha cell facilitate the breakdown of glycogen to glucose. This elevate the blood sugar that we call hyperglycemia. Now beta cell, these cells secrete hormone we call insulin which is essential for maintenance of normal blood sugar level and insulin uh, convert glucose to glycogen, glycogen basically food storage uh, in our body and conversion of glucose to glycogen we called glucogenesis 
in in the liver and muscle cells it help to maintain the blood glucose level constant inadequate level result in diabetes mellitus third is delta cells these secret hormone somatostatin which is a growth hormone inhibiting hormone ghih it inhibit the secretion of both glucagon and insulin delta cells suppress the release of glucagon and insulin now yes diabetes mellitus that in uh, general term we can say sugar is a deficiency of insulin cause the disease called diabetes mellitus in this disease the liver and muscle cells are unable to convert excess of glucose into glycogen thus the level of blood sugar get increased this condition known as hyperglycemia the sugar soon appear in the urine this disease is called diabetes mellitus such as a such a person passes out very large quantities of urine loaded with sugar at short intervals hence feels thirsty he loses weight and become weaker and weaker insulin injection to such person can control the glucose level but it is not a cure so our goal is to maintain normal blood glucose level in our body yes next is adrenal gland adrenal gland has two region cortex and medulla region the uh, adrenal gland is a triangular shaped located on the top of each kidney the inside is called the medulla and the outside layer we call cortex now hormones of adrenal cortex release mineralocorticoids glucocorticoids and sex corticoids yeah first is glucocorticoid glucocorticoid or cortisol regulate carbohydrate protein and fat metabolism has an in anti inflammatory effect and help the body cope during time of stress now mineral corticoids mineral cells the name indicate these hormone regulate mineral metabolism mainly sodium and potassium aldosterone is the hormone of this group and it increase reabsorption of sodium in the renal tubules it help in raising the sodium chloride content of the blood now sex corticoids they stimulate the development of external sex characters in males adrenal androgen is the hormone of this group and cortisol and corticosterone are categorized in glucocorticoids they are concerned with carbohydrate protein and fat metabolism they are under the control of acth the main hormone of this group is cortisol and corticosterone basically they increase blood glucose concentration influence fat and protein metabolism and adapt the body to stress and reduce antibody formation hypersecretion result in addison disease and hypersecretion result in cushing disease now addison disease it is caused due to under secretion of mineralocorticoids basic characteristic of addison disease is low blood sugar low plasma sodium ion high plasma potassium ion vomiting low skin pigmentation and loss of weight second is cushing disease or syndrome it is caused because of over secretion of glucocorticoid or cortisol it is characterized by moon shaped fish high blood sugar in urine obesity hypertension buffalo hump on the back osteoporosis and main itch hanging 
abdomen. Aldosterone essential in regulating electrolyte and water balance of promoting sodium and chloride retention and potassium excretion. Androgen related with the secondary sex characteristic of the male. Secretion from adrenal medulla. Medulla secrete catecholamines or emergency hormone that we call adrenaline or non adrenaline hormone. Dopamine is used to treat shock, it dilates the arteries, elevates systolic blood pressure, increase cardiac output, and increase urinary output. Here in shock position, Keep the person warm and comfortable. Turn the victim head on the side if neck injury is just suspected. Here in first, that is the medulla region, internal region. Now epinephrine, it also called adrenaline. It elevates systolic blood pressure, increase heart rate and cardiac output, speed up the release of glucose from liver. Giving a spurt of energy, dilate of bronchial tubes and relax airways. It dilates the pupil to see more clearly. It is often used to counteract an allergic reaction. Now second is norepinephrine. Like epinephrine, it is released when the body is under stress. That is why we call emergency hormone. It creates the underlying influence in the fight or flight response as a drug. However, it actually triggers a drop in heart rate. Now, adrenaline is also known as emergency hormone. It secretes a large amount at the uh, time of emergency. It helps to face physical stress like fall in blood pressure or blood sugar, muscular exertions, pain, cold, injury and emotional stress like anger, fear and grief. In next class, we will discuss about the secretion of ovary, testes and other remaining hormones. Thank you.